What happened eight days ago is one of the most horrific atrocities ever made in history of my people. So what is the most important thing that you can do and what we must do right now is bring the hostages back. This is what every nation on planet Earth should intervene, not just Israelis, not just Jewish people. They're holding people from 36 countries from around the world. I will do everything in my power to have Israel win. I honestly, I feel grateful to have an ally, a beautiful ally like India. India is one of my favorite places on earth. I love its people. I think first of all, um, me and everyone I know in Israel, every civilian, every citizen of Israel is now supporting the cause of, first of all, bringing the hostages back. We are doing everything in our power to bring them, them back. What happened eight days ago is one of the most horrific atrocities ever made in history of my people. This is worrisome on so many levels, but what we're doing right now is what is the most important thing that you can do and what we must do right now is bring the hostages back. We are supporting the army, we're taking care of our army, um, we are in the middle of war, it's gonna be even more bad for a lot, a lot of human lives, but we are going to prevail, we are getting ready, and first thing that we're doing is bringing our hostages back. Do you think that Hamas will release the hostages? I don't, um, I really hope so. I think that this is what every nation on planet Earth should intervene and do everything in their power to bring our people back. Hamas took people from other 36 countries around the globe. They have people, not just Israelis, not just Jewish people, they're holding people from 36 countries from around the world. The global nations around the world should unite to do everything in their power to bring the hostages home. And Ronali, what's your appeal to the world leader, including India? What is my appeal? Um, I'm requesting for everything I have. I'm requesting for, for the sake of humanity. I think we are now, you know, in a, in a very pivotal point in history. This is going to be very simple at the end of the day. This is good against evil. And history will tell whoever was on the good side and whoever wasn't. Whoever was silent and whoever did everything in their power to help bring the people home. You know that Israel and India has a very good close relations. Of course, I was in India yeah. five times. So, uh, you know, the, the are very close. Both the leader, head of the states are very close. And the way India has condemned the terrorist attack in Israel. What's your message to the India man, Indian and Indian countrymen, to the you know, Indian people? I honestly, I feel grateful to have an ally, a beautiful ally like India. India is one of my favorite places on earth. I love its people. I can really understand why the first thing that you guys did was to condemn the horrible action of October 7th in Israel. I would expect nothing less, but I wanna say with the utmost gratefulness in my heart, I think it's the best thing that you guys can do for us is condemn this horrible terror and stand by our side. Do you think any religions can speak or teach blood bath the way they are doing Gaza Strip, Hamas people on the name of Islam? Okay, can you repeat the question? Do you give the advice to do blood bath the Hamas terrorist has taken and uh, has done barbaric attack on Israeli people? On the question the you're asking if, if there's any religion that can that yes. can teach? Yeah. Against, against against the humanity to do a terrorism against the people like the, you know Hamas. You done. know what I think? I think if you look at religion in the in, I think religion is a beautiful thing if you make it beautiful. I think it's a it's a human choice to use religion for the best way. 
I think whoever lost sight of their human spark inside of them can use religion in a very, very bad way. But I think what was shown to us on October 7th, 2023, is that Hamas is ISIS and they will not stop. Israeli forces are fighting at the border with the Hamas terrorists. Every Israeli wants to kill Hamas terrorists. If required, will you take the gun and go to the border for the country? I will do everything in my power to have Israel win everything.